Wow! 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 Yo, what's good, YouTube? Before we start, make sure to drop a like on this video for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Be sure to follow us on IG. There's a lot of great content on that page and I'm always active. So if you have any questions, be sure to hit me up. Now, today we're gonna go over this clip between Keenan Allen and Michael Davis. It's been going viral for the past few days. You know I had to, you know I had to come on here and really break it down for y'all. So we're gonna break it down and we're gonna add a little suggestions what we could have done better as a DB so this doesn't happen to you. And also you can learn from the mistake and be in better position to make more plays. So let's get right into it. Right here, right here, boom, cash technique, okay. Now, remember when we're doing cash technique, what is the main thing we gotta do? We have to stay square, right? We have to move our feet. And we have to make sure we move laterally, right? We don't wanna ever lunge, right? Same thing in press, we gotta put ourselves in position to strike, right? We don't wanna use our hands to lunge at somebody when we're not in position, right? So right here, look at this, boom. Go back a little bit. The DB right here is outside his frame and he's lunging, right? We wanna keep our feet underneath our frame so we can move laterally. So now we know he's going outside, so we're just gonna move laterally with him to force him to take a wider release. Right, wider release because that's gonna disrupt the timing and take the receiver off his landmark. So it's gonna be a little bit harder for the quarterback to complete this pass. So we don't wanna lunge, right? We wanna stay in our frame. Biggest thing right here. So now, go from there, boom. So now look, he just take one step and he's going right back to where his landmark is. Now he's gonna stack us. So now we're beat, boom, we're beat. Keenan Allen does a great job selling the inside route because he's looking back for the ball. But as a DB, we're not even positioned to look for the receiver's face mask to see if he's looking back for the ball. Right now we are beat, so we have to close the space, right? Boom. Now the DB, instead of reading the near hip of the receiver, he starts to look back inside instead of closing the space, right? We have to close, whenever we beat, we have to close the space, especially down here because everything happens so fast. So what we can do is we can use the extra help we have, right? When I say that, what's the extra help? The back and line, right? Just close the space, keep your eyes on the hip, close the space and just be in position to play the receiver's hands. That's simple. Now, if the ball is thrown, right, we could still force the receiver to go to the back end line like he's kind of going right now. And then if he goes up for the ball, we just play his hands and hopefully he doesn't catch it, we knock the ball out of his hands or he's out of position to get two feet in bounds. Very important. But no, we don't, we're not looking at the near hip. We're looking back inside. Although we're not even feeling receiver to see if we can look, you know what I'm saying, look back for the ball or anything. We're not feeling him. We're not closing the space. We're panicking and we're just out of position to cover the receiver. And now he's in position to break out, right? And now we're out of position. Now I want y'all to 
Just imagine this. Even though he messed up in a catch technique, right? If he would have just kept his eyes on the hip, right? And closed the space, he would have seen Keenan Allen break down, drop his hip, and then for the breaking out, right? So what we would have done is boom, seen it, break back out, and then we would have been positioned to really force him to help the back end line, and then it would have been a harder catch, harder throw for the quarterback to complete this, right? Boom. Because look how much space he has left. Look how much space he got. So imagine if we were right here, right here on that hip. Boom. Running with him, running with him. We could have been in a better position to make a play. We would have known, hey, there's only one way now. He's not going back inside. So we could have turned back, maybe make a play on the ball. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things could have happened if we would have just been disciplined from the beginning, right? That's why I stress technique, discipline. I discipline, knowing what you got to do and knowing your matchup. Keenan Allen is one of the best route runners in the game. You can always expect him to do something a little extra. So you know for begin before the play even start, you know your technique has to be on point, right? And it all started with the catch technique, him messing up with the catch technique that led to him panicking, him not keeping his eyes on the receiver's hip when he was beat, not closing the space, and now, Keenan Allen made this great route and, and everything, but it all could have been prevented if we just trusted our technique and stayed disciplined. Still, it was a great route. No, we're not taking anything away from Keenan Allen. Great route. But if we would have been disciplined, we would have been better positioned to make the play. I'm just saying. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying. Stay disciplined, trust the technique. Things can happen. You could be able to make this play. But, you know, things happen. You learn from it. You got to move on. So that's the end of this quick film breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.